This video, sponsored by Filmora, video editor. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Thanks to Filmora, for sponsoring this video. It is a user-friendly, easy-to-use video editing software. Its powerful editing function, make it easy for you to edit your videos. Filmora Video Editor, is the best choice for the beginner, for simple video editing needs. It provides lots of special effects. With the regular, library updates, this video editor is easy for anyone to learn, with tons of effects and filters. Create your own text animation, and use it, as the video intro. Choose from tons of transitions, filters, overlays, elements, and more. Filmora, is widely used by YouTube creators. And it is capable, in producing high quality videos. Visit the link in the description and download the film more today. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Siri, Audio Spectrum. I am using the 1920, by 1080 resolution, at 60 frames per second. And my duration is 30 seconds. You should use the exact duration of your audio file. Now, the first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it the background. You can also use any image or video. Let's apply a gradient on it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the 4 color gradient. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. I am changing the color, and using a similar shade of the background, which you can find in Siri. You can change the size, and intensity of the colors, by dragging these center points. You are free to use any color you want. Cool. Let's import our music file into the project. And place it onto the timeline. Now press L double time, to open the waveform. I am placing the audio beat in the beginning. And this is the music we have. By the way, you can download it from the link in the description. Let's minimize it, and then create a new solid layer. I am calling it the Siri, 01, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the audio spectrum. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, select the audio layer to your music file. And it will start reacting with your music. Let's change the softness value to 0%. And thickness value to 2. Now change the frequency bands values to 1500, to remove the spaces between them. I am going to change its size, to fit the width of our frame. So keep the first start point value to 0. Now change the first end point value. This value is the exact dimension, of width of our frame. Let's place it around here. For doing that, change the second start point value to 800. Also, change the second end point value to 800 as well. And this is how it will look now. Cool. Here we have these extreme waves in the audio spectrum. Let's make it minimal. Change the start frequency value to 700. And change the end frequency value to 750. It will remove all the waves, and keep it just a little. Let's change the maximum height value to 1000, 
to increase the height of this spectrum. I am not sure if you can see, but I can see the bands individually. So let's change the thickness value to 3, and it will remove all the bands. Let's change the color of it. I am going to use this color, you are free to use any color you want. Now select the Siri 01 layer, and make a duplicate of it. I am going to change the color of this layer. This time it will be a blue color. Make sure to change the outside color to blue as well. Now change the maximum height value to 1500, for making the wave a little different. I am changing the start frequency value to 300, and the end frequency value to 400. Check the animation, and see if you like it. Not bad. Let's change the maximum height value to 1200, to make the height shorter. Also, select the bottom layer, and change its maximum height value to 700. And this is how it will look. Now select the top layer, and make one more duplicate of it. This time, I am using a different color. Also, change the outside color as well. Now change the start frequency value to 20. As you can see, the wave is cutting off, so I am changing the end frequency value to 200. I think the height is too much, so I am going to change the maximum height value to 500 for this layer. And it will look much better now. Let's play with the end frequency value, so that the wave appears from the middle of the screen. In my case, the value is 80. Cool. Let's select this layer once again, and make a duplicate of it. This time, I am using the yellow color for it. Of course, you can use any color you want. Let's make it a little different than others. Change the start frequency value to 40, and change the end frequency value to 200. It will create more waves in our audio spectrum. Now change the maximum height value to 300, so that it will look smaller, than other spectrums. Now select all layers, and then change the blending mode of it. In case this mode tab is not available here, then right click on it, go to the columns, and choose modes. Now change the mode to the screen, and these colors will blend with each other. Cool. Now create a new adjustment layer, and place it on top of all layers. I am calling it Glow. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the Glow. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the Glow threshold value to 30%, and change the Glow radius value to 250. Let's change the value to 500 pixels, to spread out the glow. And this is how it will look now. Now we are going to add the timer. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and then rename this layer, as timer. Now copy this expression. You can download it from the link in the description. Now open this text layer, text, and here you will find this source text. Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon, to add an expression. In this expression box, paste this expression, and it will create a timer, right away. In the newer version of After Effects, this script may not work. In that case, Go to the file, and then project setting. Here you will find this expression box. Just click on it, and change the expression engine to legacy extend script. And then hit OK. The script will start working immediately. Cool. Let's select this text layer, and align it to the center. Also, I am placing it just right below this spectrum. If you want, 
you can change the font of this timer. Let's select this text layer once again, and align it to the left, so that it won't flicker, at the time of changing the numbers. Also, change the tracking to 200. And this is how it will look now. Cool. If you want, you can make the timer bigger, and change it blend mode to overlay, to get the same result, as I have made in the intro. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and sayonara.